Okay, folks, I know it's been a while since I updated here, but this is David Lapp for On David's Brain. Uh, it's been forever since I've seen that logo. But yeah, we're taking a look at Day of the Tentacle HD Remastered, whichever one you want to call it. Yeah, I figure it's time for me to uh, take a bit of a break from some RPGs that I've been playing on my own time and uh, just get into something I've never seen before and something that I definitely would... Well, it definitely seems like in my ballpark. It's a point-and-click game. It's from Tim Schafer, so why not? Let's see. New game. Bonus. Let's see. Bonus? What is it? Oh, okay. Kind of play. Control settings. Let's see. Remastered. Auto. Auto, you know, verbs? Wait, verbs? Uh, let's get the subtitles on just so everybody knows what, uh, 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 you know, knows we're on the same page here. Okay. And yeah, just so we're clear, I have never played Day of the Tentacle before. We're going in completely blind, so... If, New venture we are going. And yeah. Yes, thank you. We know you're made by LucasArts. Enable to direct developer's commentary. Well, sorry, no, not right now. Uh, nostalgia bomb for most of you. cross-eyed birds and okay that does not look right cross-eyed bird no uh, the mm, I'm thirsty oh really um I don't think you should drink that no really it looks bad for you. Well... Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. Oh god, he's the Hulk! Oh, no, wait, I feel the like something. I could. Spout like I could. Spout a cliche! <laughs> Bad out cartoon sound effects? Like I could. Boing. I am stubs now. Take on the world. Of course. Look, Hoagie, it's a hamster. Oh. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. Oh, I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like, we could bite its head off or whatever. No, it's bats, and even Ozzy admitted Hands that that was a mistake. That hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. And is it another grocery list? It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that Purple Tentacle's mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. Well, good. Oh, okay, maybe not the green one, but purple one, definitely. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go... back to the mansion. Tile drop, I think. Road trip! Yeah! Come on, at least wait for it. Oh boy, we're in for something here, folks. Again, I have... Uh, Timmy Boy. The only indie developer that I don't think is insanely pretentious. Okay, either him and Scott Coffin. Those two, they're cool in my books. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. 
Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. A char Apparently our characters are made out of chewing gum. <laughs> Captain Trips? Okay, what events would happen to get someone the nickname of Captain Trips? Ugh. Hey, sorry about your floor. Uh, looks like they picked up a hitchhiker. Brilliant landing, five stars. Hey, don't just leave the cow behind. Where the hell is he gonna go? Okay, we'll spread out commando style. Um. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain Command HQ here in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. Uh. This better not take too long. Oh, no, I've no, no, got no. an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Well, gee, it wouldn't be so much of a secret lab if it, well, if it was known by everyone, hello? All right, let's see here. Highlight objects, change the characters, commentary, cycle through the inventory, open up the inventory. Okay, got it. Hmm. Oh, money. Always love money. Hmm. Out of order. Oh, come on. Let's see here. Out of order. Out of order. Okay, fine. Let's see here. Hmm, there's something funny about that clock. Let's see here. Aha! A secret passage. This is all Trophy too earned. easy. We're actually trespassing. Oops. Laverne, how'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen uh, any tentacles? Uh... What's a tentacle? Oh, God. Rex. Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. I'm Made guessing good that's pets, it. actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world. As you are one to, to do. tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Oh, why did you tell Thank him that? God, you weren't that stupid. <laughs> um, did you say Bernard? Yeah, someone who is that stupid. Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> you really Wait. are an idiot. You oh, just... yeah. Now I remember. Ugh. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? That's why he said uh, in a note. I'll try no, to talk not... him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? <laughs> yeah, what? Leaping lab rat! Dr. Fred. What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? <laughs> now Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all humanity! Whoops. Oops. Our only hope now is to turn off my sludge magic machine and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river! Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Far too late. Of course! That's why I'll have to do it! Yesterday! 
Through the time machine! Oh, of course. You have a time machine, why not? This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, yes. children! The Chronogon! Da, can't you just send Bernard? Why are you no, just all you must them? all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive! Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Well... Of course not! This is the first time I've ever tried it on people! Uh, let's see, uh... Well, I'll be! It actually works! And it didn't turn them into horrible mutant hybrids! Yippee! Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. Save this it, Ogie. I want Woodstock my Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. Close! What could it all mean? Madness? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We I'm may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. What part of mad After scientist? All, he is a doctor. What part of mad scientist it don't was. you get? I can't believe it. And they said imitation diamond wasn't good enough. Oh goody. Uh oh. Spaghettios. I like Ogie. He's got the right attitude about this. Not the right brains for it, but... <laughs> well... Why well, yeah, three's passable? Kinda. Not really. No. Cheap mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past. Bogus. And the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Harsh. Well, hurry up and bring them back. They... I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Eh, yeah, he'll figure it yes, out. Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. We'll just, just wing it. Help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Maybe I put now it next to the Now what am I going bodies. to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. I think you need get Kraken. I think you need an interim face to that plan. Uh, replace three with four. And as for three, punch him in the face. Repeatedly. Oh uh, boy. Let's see here. Pull time. No way. No way. It can't do anything without a new diamond. Oh boy. No way. What's this? Textbook. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff. Hmm. Let's see here. The Chicago Manual of Thermodynamic Flux Induction Circuit Design. Great stuff. 1952. Hmm. 1952. I can't help but think that that's actually going to be a plot point at some point. Oh, you know. He literally just stuck a bunch of light bulbs on a porta potty, didn't he? 
You know, there's a difference between mad science and just plain old-fashioned idiotic lunacy, folks. Oh boy. It's already open. All right, so let's just close it just to make sure that no one else could go and cause any more temporal nonsense. I don't want to get locked out. Oh, come on. It's a porta potty with a bunch of light bulbs sticking on it. I'm surprised I ever got out of there alive. Okay, that's actually the first legitimate bit of observation I've heard from you. Maybe I put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs. Are you sure you didn't put it down here right next to your, uh, Fran uh, to your Franz Kafka collection? It seems a little bit more likely. Huh. Bunch of radio radioactive unholy sludge? Hey, Bernard, maybe if you play around in a little bit, you might get superpowers, just like purple. Let's see here. Warning! Output from this device is highly toxic and may cause tyrannical delusions if ingested. <laughs> and you would think... Uh, yeah. But yeah, I could just hear Al Gore already. See, this is what happens if you don't dispose of your chemical waste properly. Unholy mutant tentacles will gain intelligence and try to take over the world. Have I got your attention now, shit nuggets? Buy a Prius. Warning, do not touch the sludge 3000. There, it's off. But it's too late now. Wait, hamster generator? It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. Oh, for a second there, I thought it was a machine that actually creates hamsters. I think it's designed to run with something. More like a small rodent. Gee, I wonder if there's hamsters around here. Let's see. Look at paper. It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. It's capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow! I'm pretty sure that actually meant something back when this game came out, but, well, whatever. I've got the plans! Quick, we have to flush them to Hoagie! How did you get over there? Magic, that's how. My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed them. Well, of course he yes. did. Down the toilet. Yes. No, what? through time. I'm sorry, Using what? Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Neat. Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time. Hello. Dr. Fred, can you hear me? I think Drat. I'm starting to, I think I'm starting to come down. Did you hear now. something? No. Let's see if what's his name catches on. Alright, so uh yeah, let's hear from Bill oh, and Ted's great. bogus I'm stuck uh, bogus in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world, and now the toilet's backing up. What else okay. is going on? Come over here! Great, now I'm hearing your voices. Old pal, Dr. Fred! Dr. Fred? How'd you get in there? Oh boy. I, want I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 Okay, if you say so, Bernard. I mean, listening to him's got me so far. Does he so have far. any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. <laughs> Time for me to save the world, I guess. Excellent! Can opener. Bitch it. Why does he have a can opener? Let's see. Gold. Let's see. Crouton. What? What's a Crouton? Let's see. Oil. Vinegar. What? It's a battery powered by hamsters, isn't it? Yeah. Gold. Croutons. Oil. Vinegar. 
for trying to create a battery, not perfect the Caesar salad, okay? It's the battery plants I'm supposed to give to that Red Edison dude. All right, you know what? I think I need nah, to Nah, it stinks. Well, duh, Hoagie is an outhouse. Huh, this door appears to be locked. Who would be so ungodly cruel to, uh, to lock an outhouse? Nah, it stinks. Yeah. Grody. Huh, this door appears to be locked. What's the a kumquat tree? Ooh. Ye oldy outhouses. Mmm, kumquats. I don't wanna. What, don't you want some fruit? It's good for you. Let's see. The father of our country is gazing out at me. Wow. Excellent! Hey, uh, maybe when you're done here, Hoagie, you go and grab him and help you go and finish your history report. I can't reach it. I can't reach it. Fine. Meanwhile, those founding fathers are driving me nuts. Flag design changes every five minutes. Well, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm making them a flag, ready or not. Hmm. Let's see here. All right, so there's Betsy Ross. Not exactly sure how she's gonna play into this, but well, yeah, probably help. Said something shiny. Nope, oh, okay. Alright. It's totally covered with crud. Making it dirtier won't help. Um I'm not even gonna bother trying to figure out what oh how use carriage equals make dirt oh for Oh, never mind. Forget it. I'm stupid. It's closed. Well, then open it, genius. Do I need to... Yeah, I literally need to do everything for everyone around here. What else is new? You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Let me see here. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. Hmm. Please tell me that Red isn't in Baltimore right now. No, wait. I know he's gonna be, because that's how this works. I don't wanna. Let's see, not raised in a barn. Huh. I'd rather not. Okay, Hoagie, let's just see what you want to do. Hmm. Okay, let me think here. should leave the patent in the mailbox for him. Oh, that seems like a sane thing to do. Well, it's not illogical. But then again, this is an early 90s adventure game. So... Oh. Yep, hold on a sec. I know what to do here. Better not. That might invalidate the patent. Express. Yep, I know what to do here. Hold on. Well, better not. That might invalidate the patent. I don't wanna. 
<clears throat> Let me think here. Let me think. Woohoo, the Pony Express. Let me think. I know there's got to be some. So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. I need that. And your I need diamonds, in the future my needs God. Power too, if she's still alive. Perhaps not. Alive? You Get know. me out of here. I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. No. You dare. Hmm. I need to find the diamond, my god! Perhaps the animals know where it is. Yes. Hmm. Go inside. Hmm. Swiss bank book. Hello. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. <laughs> Darth Vader calendar. Subtle. Actually, now I'm just wondering. I'm just hoping that playing this game and showing it to y'all doesn't get me sued by, uh, by Luke. Uh, doesn't get me sued by Disney. Wow, it's from my favorite movie. It was okay. I'd best not mess with it. I hope no one's watching. I look so goofy on video. You just, no, that's just you in general. Let's see here. There's probably nothing interesting in it. Who's that? that Mickey Rooney? Looks like Dr. Fred wearing a powdered wig. Handsome in a way, but I'm glad he eventually accepted his hair loss. If you're not comfortable with yourself, who can you be comfortable with? Am I right? Hello, let's see here. I don't know the combination. Hmm, let me see here. Ah, all right, just need to find the security room then. First things first, just gonna fiddle. Fiddling, fiddling, Sleek fiddling. design, sturdy construction, attractive housing. All in all, a fine phone. Eh. It's fine where it is. Boo Boo Beyond. It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Boy, the Edisons are a spectacularly ugly family. That's just rude. All right. Found all the nonsense in here, I think. Service book. Ding, ding, ding. I'm just going to keep doing it until something shows up or happens. Hmm. Hmm. Let me see here. I know something's going to happen eventually. Just not sure what. Hmm. Chuck. He named his plant Chuck. A horticultural horror. It's just a cactus. And uh, I can't touch it. It's spiny. All right. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. Hmm. Looks like a stand for tourist info and ads for local merchants. 
Help wanted, lab assistant. Hardworking moronic drone needed to assist genius with experiments. High school diploma, not required. You're just practically, you're, you are just begging for trouble. Let's see. Maybe if I can find a way to uh, get a marker or something like that and put in someone that's actually competent, we might get a second brain here to help fix this nightmare. And there's a mummy now for some reason. What? Dead Cousin Ted. I guess not too many birds bathe in the evening. Hey, Ted. Talkative as ever, eh, Ted? Uh, let's see. Let's see. Boy, I haven't seen you since I was here five years ago. Really like to see what the hell happened Boy, here. Boy, I haven't seen you since I was here five years ago. Uh, you haven't changed a whole lot. You know, I bet you'd really like Hoagie. You know, I bet you'd really like my friend Hoagie. He's a roadie for a heavy metal band. I've heard of one-sided conversations before, but this is just ridiculous. Boy, I wish I had as little on my mind as you do. Uh... Purple Tentacle's probably taking over the planet by now. We've got to go back in time to shut off the sludge machine. Well, I'd best be on about saving the world. I think I'll need a little more leverage. No way, he's too heavy. Hey, Ted. Boy, I wish I had as little on my mind as you do. I mean, my best friends are stranded in time. I mean, say what you will about Ted here, but at least he's a good listener. I've got to somehow get hold of a diamond. Perhaps you can trade with the panther. No, he won't. I wish I knew someone with a lot of money. Don't well, we I'd best be on about saving the world. So, yeah, talking to him is like several different shades of pointless. Let's see here. It's empty. Oh, great. Who is this? Hi. Don't sneak up on me like that. It's very rude. Nice crowbar. Thanks. Don't even think about asking to use it. I need it. What are you up to? Uh, I uh, locked my keys in the car. If you're locked out, why break into the trunk? I uh, have a spare set of keys in there. I don't see your keys in the car. Uh, actually, I lost them somewhere. Nice crow. Yeah. See you later. Yeah. He could easily overpower me. He could easily overpower me. Yeah. I doubt he'd be interested. Movie on. Hmm. I'd rather not. Someone wrote, wash me in the dust. Some people think that washing one's vehicle will make it rain. Oh? Uh-huh. What? How about that? Uh, hmm. It's really dirty. I don't think that would help. 
It's a bottle of correctional fluid. Not a pipe stepping crystal clear. Okay. What beautiful clear water. Keep out. Area contaminated with industrial waste. I think that's a kumquat tree. I can't reach it. Hmm. I'd like to, but there's no time. I'd like to, but there's no time. I'd like to, but there's no time. Okay, I can figure this out somehow. It just takes a bit of a while, and no, I am not going to cheat. Unless this just gets uh, plain insane. Hmm. Hmm. Why is there... what the f... I've never gotten over my childhood fear of Uzo. Uzo? You looking at me? Are you looking at me? Then who are you looking at, huh? I asked you a question. Okay, clown, that does it. <laughs> oh. oh my god. I hate that clown. Uh, I've seen worse. At least he does does at least he does do cocaine. You looking at me? Are you look? Then who are I? Ask. Okay. Hmm. Hey, boy! You missed the party. What party? You and the clown were having a party. No, no, last night! Oh. At the Novelty Good Salesman's Convention. I tell you, we Novelty Good Salesmen know how to have a good time! Uh, has anyone ever told you a little like Don Porno? Has anyone ever told you you look like Don Pardo? That's strange. My wife says I look like the ghost pirate LeChuck. So, want a cigar? Oh, sure. Sure, lay one of those Havana babies on me. Oh, God! Oh. Thought Thought I was shop this kid Tannen, huh? Yeah, didn't you? Well, you were right! Hmm. I might be able to use that. You shouldn't smoke. It's a bad habit. That cracks me up every time. Good for you. in doing that, it's empty. Disgusting. I don't even want to touch that gunk. No use in doing that, it's empty. It looks almost real. I don't have that. Hands up, boy! That's a precision-made novelty device! Alright, so you'll probably want something to borrow, huh? Alright. Hi there! 
What can I do for you, kid? So where is everybody? The really big bash was last night. I guess they're all sleeping it off. So, want another cigar? Well, only if you promise not to light it, yeah. Okay, but only if you promise not to light it this time. Would I do a thing like that? Yes. Yes, you would. <laughs> I really don't like you. I told you it was a bad habit. I'd rather not. Hi there. What can I do for you, kid? Has anyone ever told you you look like Don Quixote? That's strange. My wife says I look like Charlie Parker. So, want another cigar? Hmm. Sorry, my mom told me never to smoke. Hey, if I listened to my mom, I wouldn't be where I am today. Well, suit yourself, boy. Yeah, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Let's see here. Probably have to figure out a way to get uh, a cigarette from him. Over. Yeah, figure out a way to get rid of that lighter. Now just calm down for a second. I can't reach that from here. Hold still, will ya? I can't get hold of it. Oops. this does. There's no flag on it now because it's evening. Hmm. Wow, a pulley. By using a combination of flexible materials and a wheel, one may gain mechanical advantage by changing the direction of motion and the applied force. All right, let's just see here. I'm guessing this is his room and the docks room. It's not exactly the Ritz. Hmm, better than nothing. Let me see here. Hmm. Let's see what's in behind door number one, shall we? Bash of cow tipping baffles police? So, the tentacles plan for world domination involves cow tipping. Okay, I'm. Um, Okay, let's see where it's just where closed. That... Well, let's open it. Ugh, hey. Gotta do everything for this guy. Uh, there's a statue of creepy. Must be an Edison. It's signed, Edna, thanks for giving me the fever. It looks like a physics professor I knew in the second grade. <laughs> Ooh, baby, what a man. You ain't kidding, precious. 
supposed to be here. Something strange is going on in there. It's Dr. Fred's office. Nothing going on in there. Get away from that! Excuse me. What is it? I'm rather... Shay, aren't you Bernard Bernoulli? No, my name's Threepwood. Cute. Alright, let's just go straight forward here and see what happens. Yes, that's right. I knew it! You broke into our mansion a few years ago to save your little friend. When did you come for this time? Oh, boy. I'm trying to keep a tentacle from conquering the world. Really? How nice. How's Dr. Fred doing? Well, he's still upset about the family financial situation, seeing that it's his fault and all. But he seems a lot better now that he stopped sleepwalking. Oh, wait. Uh, how did he wreck the family finances? Well, we should have made millions on the computer game they made about us. But the resident genius locked the contract in the safe in his office and forgot the combination. What's wrong with sleepwalking? Uh, do I need to well, state the obvious? Barely nothing. But when Fred sleepwalks, he remembers the combination to the safe. I find him in the office, opening it, screaming like a cat in the oven, and slamming it again. Something about what's in there really scares him. Unfortunately, I was never able to catch the combination since he works it so fast. And you didn't think to just slow down the footage because... How did he manage to stop sleepwalking? He stopped sleeping. Fred drinks a lot of coffee. Me, I only drink decaf. Hmm. I was just admiring your statue. Thank you. It's been in the Edison family since colonial times. One of Fred's ancestors carved it. This is quite an array of gadgetry you have here. Yes, it's the best surveillance system in the state. Wait, crystal matrix? Are those xenophobe crystal matrix monitors? They sure are. They're so clear you can see the fleas on the bedroom walls. Don't touch! Hmm, is that a Plexus 7000 VCR? It sure is. It's got a dual tape speed motor with cobalt casing. Don't Co touch it. Mm. All right, yeah. Most of the stuff we're probably going to need is in here. Just need to figure out how to get uh, get her out. Do you think I could uh, play with these a bit? Absolutely not. I'll let you get back to what you are doing. Come back any time, you big hunk. <laughs> Thanks, Nurse, uh, thanks, Nurse Witch Hazel. Get away from that! Get away from that! She's open enough as she is. I don't think that's possible. I'm afraid. Excuse me. Hi there, my little dumpy kin. <laughs> um, never mind. Right, yeah. I don't blame you. Hmm. Gotta think. Hey, aren't you Weird Ed Edison, the paramilitary nut? Why, yes, I... Hey, do I know you? Yeah, I'm Bernard Benulli. I broke into your house five years ago, kidnapped your hamster, broke into your piggy bank. Mm, no, doesn't ring a bell, but I can't remember much about that period anyway. My psychotherapist thinks something traumatic happened to me back then that I'm blocking out. All right, so you gave up the crazy military... Co oh, God, what was... What was this guy like? So you gave up the crazy military commando thing? I'm much better now. I don't have those... those bad thoughts anymore. 
Now I collect stamps. That's quite a nice collection. Can I have it? No. I mean, uh, no. They mean a lot to me. Sometimes I think they're the only friends I've got. Oh my god, that's sad. Nice hamster. Does he do tricks? No, he just sits there. I used to have a really smart hamster, but something happened to him. What happened to the old hamster? I... I don't remember. When I try, all I can think of is a flash of light and this horrible sound. What was the horrible sound? It was sort of like... Ding! Oh God, I hear it in my dreams till this day. Ding! That hamster really should get some exercise. Well, Dad puts him to work down in the basement sometimes. But then he starts sweating, and then he gets wet, and then he gets cold, and then he refuses to work. Your dad or the hamster? Yes. Are you making fun of me? No, I... I get upset when people make fun of me. I just meant... Oh, it makes me so mad. I just want to... Relax. I want to relax. I'll be okay if I just focus on my stamps. Oh, boy. Are all your hobbies this fascinating? I don't have any other hobbies. These stamps are my whole life. If anything were ever to happen to them... Oh, really now? Hmm. How are the folks? Well, Dad's in the basement doing an experiment. Mom's in the next room spying on our honeymoon. Ew. Ted's in the front yard. Holding up a bowl of lard? <laughs> well, it's a birdbath, actually, but it rhymes better your way. Yeah. Well, hope I didn't get you too excited. Bye. Peace be with you. Praise be to Yevon. He's reading the Wall Street Journal. Hmm. I've got one just like this packed away in the garage. Oh, ah, well, you know, cross game. Oh, where we can actually see what the hell happened here. Jeepers. I'll take a look at that for another time. Pony Express stamps. Yes, not the most valuable kind, but they have a lot of sentimental value to me. Pony Express stamps, eh? Hey, don't touch my stamps. Hmm. Well, I'll probably go through Maniac Mansion at some other time. Let's see here. Green! Ah, there you are. Bernard! What are you doing up here? Well, I couldn't stop Purple, and he's gonna go out and conquer the world, and, and I'm afraid of what he'll do if he catches me, if Dr. Fred doesn't find me first. Uh, does that answer your question? A little bit, yeah. Yeah. Hey! What's up, Bernard? What's he? Do you know where he is? What do you suppose Purple's up to now? Well, he wants to take over the world, so I figure he's up to something devious. Conducting cryogenic experiments on small animals? I wouldn't doubt it, but I was thinking more along the lines of politics. Well, yeah, that probably... That would... Yeah, probably a good start. Yeah. Wanna help me save the world? I'm afraid to leave the room. In fact, I don't think I can even move from this spot. Purple scares the daylights out of me. How's your new band doing? Green tea and the sushi platter? We're doing <laughs> great! We've decided to really capitalize on our strongest quality as a band. Your weirdness? 
intoxicating three-part vocal harmony? Volume, man, volume. We have a chance to win a Grimy Award as the loudest new band. We're pulling out all the stops. Hmm. Weren't you looking for a new guitarist a while back? Yes, but we decided to go with a guy who plays power tools instead. Why? We can generate a lot more sound that way. Oh. Are you working on an album? Yeah, we're doing a CD called Rap on the Forehead. I've got a few tracks hooked up through the stereo if you want to hear them. Have you gotten any airplay? No, we're a little too experimental for most radio stations. But we'll give a it a couple of years. Following in the club scene. That's great. Yeah. Can't be worth the most club music. Why the litter box? Have you got a cat? Don't ask. I already did. How does a tentacle sit in a beanbag chair? Oh, that part's easy. It's getting back out of it that's hard. Oh, yeah, I can see that. Can you actually use that bowling ball? No, Purple brought that in here after he grew arms. He got really discouraged, though, because he doesn't have fingers. Well, see you later, Green. Yeah! Good luck in saving the world, B-Man! Hmm... It looks too heavy for me to pick up. Pokey would really love these. It's too heavy for me to pick up. Oops, maybe I shouldn't have pushed it. It's too heavy for me to pick up. It's too heavy for me to pick up. Powerful looking speaker. No, the stereo would fall. It's sticking out. Wow, this is loud. Oh, hello. Whew. Well, that was nuts. Hmm, what was on the tape? There's no label, it's probably blank. Hmm. All right, I think I have an idea then. It's pretty small. All right, well, I've got some thinking to do, folks. This is David Lab of On David's Brain. Later. Mm -hmm.